Hello, welcome back to Trainer Talk Tuesday. I am Michael. And I'm Audra. We are personal trainers, fitness coaches uh, here in Greenwood, Indiana. And today, we're talking about why you have to stop using motivation to try to reach your goals. Motivation is fun and exciting, but it's really just that. It's just fun and exciting. It doesn't, doesn't last. last. It doesn't Whoa. last. It doesn't last very long at all. <laughs> there's Morgan. There's John. Shelby. What's up, guys? Molly. You missed oh, Molly. Molly. Sorry, Molly. I didn't purposefully miss Molly. I miss Molly. Molly, I miss you. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> um, so, Leah. Oh, there's Molly. She's clapping. Molly's happy. Sam. What's up, Sam? Uh, so today we are talking about motivation. Motivation doesn't last. What is it that you really need to reach your goals? Because uh, it's definitely not motivation. I like to get up early. Like really early. Like 4.30 in the morning early. And for a while, Audrey and I didn't have to wake up at the same time. And I mean at this point it's not really motivation that gets me up that early. It's just, it's, you know, just habit. It's routine. And one time, this is, this is exactly motivation right here. Like this, this is pure motivation. Audra loves scaring people, right? She gets so much joy out of just... You're terrible at telling stories. <laughs> terrifying people. I'm, I'm trying to build it up. You're doing great. Keep going. You're not. Keep going. Anyways, one morning I woke up at 3 o'clock to run to the bathroom, and I thought that Audra was asleep. I came out of the bathroom to go back to the bedroom, and out of nowhere... All the lights were off. Out of nowhere, she jumps and she screams, and I thought I was going to punch you. I thought I was going to punch you in the face. I really did. I was, I well, was terrified. Well, it's really funny, because when I, if you scare <laughs> Michael bad enough, he does this thing where he runs in place. Like stomps his feet like he's trying to go somewhere, like in a cartoon. He's yeah. just kicking up dust. He's not going trying to go. Anywhere. I'm just trying to run. But it's that really that nice. was motivate. Her motivation was obviously to scare scare the crap out of me because other than that, I couldn't get her out of bed at three o'clock in the morning to save my life. Like I could be dying, and you'd be like, "Well, is it that bad?" Like that time I was sick. Yeah. Remember that? I wasn't listening because I was distracted. I'm sorry. I what do this happened? a lot. I don't listen to you. Sam is oh. making me super jealous because he's like, we're in Cosmo. Oh, he's diving. And I'm diving. Sam, we're not. Stop trying to distract us with amazing scuba diving. I'm so jealous. I really I'm am. I'm jealous too. Hey, Jake. So, anyways, motivation. Motivation is not going to get you to your goals. But, how motivated do you feel like you are? What motivates you? Wait, that's such a generic statement. I don't even know how to answer it. I don't know. But before we get like tips and... Helping others. Helping others motivate you. Mm -hmm. okay. When would you say that you were the most motivated? I know you got, you got really motivated at one time. Um, oh. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Michael and I decided to do this really crazy bet. Once. Hey, Karen. Hi, Nikki. Where we would... Pretend like, oh no, we weren't pretending. No, no, it was a real bet. It was a real, it was bet, a real bet of yeah, who yeah. would lose the most amount of body fat in a three month period. Was it three months? It was three months. Mm. We we're going to go on vacation. This competition. Hey, Joe. So we thought we would do this fun bet. And I came up with if I won, then he would have to call me Sweet Angel for an entire month. Didn't we go on a vacation like that right that week? Yes, so we oh, won, we and then we went on vacation, and then after vacation yeah. we went to a wedding. And so he's introducing me to these people at the wedding, because he lost, by the way. <laughs> that and, wasn't a boring way to tell and him if that he I called, lost. I know, but I got caught up <laughs> in this other story. Cause if, because when we were at the wedding, he, would, he was introducing me to people, and he had to call me Sweet Angel. Because if that he called me Audra, garbage. he owed me how much, how much time for back scratches? Like, every time I didn't call you Sweet Angel, it was like 10 huh. minutes or something. That he had to ridiculous. scratch my back and give me a It was like an hour and a half I ended up building up. <laughs> an hour and a half of time that I had to scratch your back. Back scratches and massages that I earned because he called me by my real name. But at this wedding, he was introducing me as Sweet Angel to all these people, and it was hilarious. It, this is my wife, Sweet Angel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you get so much joy out of that. No, it was really funny. But so, I was super motivated in that moment because it was a short period of time yeah. and I was motivated by 
being just called Sweet Angel. Imagining Michael calling me Sweet Angel to strangers, which is <laughs> absolutely hilarious. And so I used motivation in that period to dominate him in this, in the bet. Uh, you didn't dominate. You barely won, first of all. Yeah, but I also did eat junk food all at the same time. time. Uh, that's not. That's, that's <laughs> garbage. Is what that is. So, a few different tips that we have for you guys today. Obviously, talking about you know motivation and why it's not the answer to helping you reach your goals. The first one is really just stop waiting for motivation. Yeah, we hear it all the time, like, I'm just waiting for this to happen before I do this, or I'm not motivated right now, but you can't rely on motivation. It is a burst. It's meant for just a very short period to get you going, and that's it. Yeah, I love the, I love the, uh, I'm going to get in shape before I start working out. Which is weird because you start to work out to get in shape, so right. Right. you're trying to find that motivation and getting fit first before you work on your goal of getting fit. Yeah. Well, and if you if you're waiting for motivation to hit you, like you're never going to reach a long term goal because motivation is not sustainable. It's not something that you can maintain. It wavers constantly. Up and so down. So if you're relying the on that, then your actions are going to follow. If your motivation is up and down, then your actions will be up and down, which is why it's terrible when you're trying to reach a long-term goal. Right, absolutely. Because if you're if you're always if you're all over the place up and down doing it when you feel like it and not doing it when you don't, you're never going to reach that goal. Right. Absolutely. I think um, another I know another thing that we want to talk about as far as tips are concerned is feelings versus actions because we want to do things when we feel motivated. So when we feel excited about something or we feel you know, I don't know, feelings make us want to do things. Yeah, but it's important to understand and know that the way that you feel and what you do are completely separate. Completely separate. And you can still do something even when you don't feel like it. You have to. I mean, do you something. do. Yeah, Especially absolutely. like with the job or work. So you can love your job but like really hate the menial tasks. That doesn't mean like you just I'm not I'm just not going to do that. Right. You can't. You have to do them. Same same thing with health and fitness. Yeah. Sam says, he's losing signal. He's blaming the American diet gods. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Sam. Have fun. Um, Do so, extra yeah. dives for us. Yes, extra diving. Um, so separate, separate feelings from action. So no matter, no matter how you feel, you've got, to, you've got to have something concrete, like a routine, basically. You need, you need a routine. You need something that just, no matter what, I'm going to do it. doesn't matter how I feel. I mean, I know, I mean, even this morning, actually... This morning I was doing legs, and this morning, this morning, mor this morning, this morning, this morning. I don't know. How, first of all, we'll talk about that later. This morning I was doing legs, and I actually got a little bit nauseous, like about three quarters of the way through. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna finish this one exercise, and I'm just gonna skip the last one. That's not surprising. But but hold on, <laughs> hold on. I, it was a thought, and then I didn't skip it. But that's because. That was just the, like, I had to do it. So I was separating the way that I felt from my actions. Yeah. And I literally just did that this morning. So. I did that this morning too. Really? Yeah. Nikki and I. I work out with my sister. And in the mornings, we just, when we first get to the gym, we walk through the door, we talk about how we don't want to do it. Let's go get breakfast. But every single time we end up doing our workout and finishing it and being really excited that we did. So. It's almost every morning. Jake says, your sound is off. Is anyone else having problems hearing us? Quick sound check. Don't know if that's on Anybody? our end. Maybe they can't hear us. Oh, Nicole says, and we never get sound breakfast. Is good. Sounds Jerry good. Thanks, sound Jerry. Sounds good. Hmm. Sorry about that, Jake. I'm not sure what sound is working for Molly as well. Thank you, guys. Um, so, yeah. So, you got to separate your feelings from your actions, essentially. Yep. What's tip three? Um, make small changes. Getting healthy, changing your lifestyle to be a healthy lifestyle is a long-term commitment. It so is... It's an absolute commitment. Especially if you lived your life one way, a certain way for almost the Thanks, entire... Jerry. <laughs> Jerry says Audra sounds good. Mike is lacking. 
I'll remember that on Sunday, Jerry, when we work out together. It's because you said this morning. I know, I know. Anyway, <laughs> especially if you go from a life full of bad habits, unhealthy eating, not working out, and then all of a sudden you decide that you want to make that leap and you want to become healthy. It's not something that you can change overnight. Don't don't expect that. Break it down into small stages, especially if you look at it as like this huge picture, this big goal. It's going to become overwhelming, especially at times when you're not motivated. So break them down into small goals and reach those goals and celebrate the small things. Right. A lot of people are so focused on the big picture, but the big picture is made up of small puzzle pieces that you have to put together. Right, yeah, absolutely. Well, even like today, we uh, Amy shared her story. Uh, to Facebook today about changes that she's seen at UFIT and one of the things she said is it was just so far it's been a little bit of saying no to this a little bit of changing that a little bit I mean it's like the big results that you see in fitness come from lots of little tiny changes yeah quitting anything cold turkey is hard and almost impossible it just depends on your personality and a lot of people can't do that right so the small things is what's gonna make the biggest difference in the end yes absolutely and be consistent. Consistency is huge. Especially when it comes to, because motivation is not. Or, I mean, it's huge, but motivation is not consistent. Yeah, it's way up and down all the time, and you never really, I mean, you just don't feel motivated 100% of the time. You just don't. So you have to be consistent. I mean, if I relied on motivation to get me to the gym, in the last year, there probably would have been seven consecutive months that I would have never made it. In a row? I just, yes. But I you were that went. unmotivated? So, yes. Thanks. I wasn't. Just, doing, I wasn't doing a very good job. Like, you know. You know. Accountability. You know what I mean? That's okay. I don't rely on you for accountability. You're too I, nice. Oh, You're like, babe. Sometimes. Whatever you want. It's whatever you want. <laughs> but. It's one of those things where you just, you have to do it. I've committed myself to being healthy and wanting to live a healthy lifestyle. That is a choice that I made. So I cannot expect to reach that goal and live that life if I'm not actively doing something every day to achieve it. Not every day as in working out, but eating healthy and just doing something every day to reach that goal or continue that goal. Yeah. Uh, and Karen says, I struggle not having a partner and I let that affect my motivation so you know I mean having having a workout partner is huge obviously that is motivating and accountability but I think it comes down to well the last point here well which is don't hate me at Karen I love you so much but having a workout partner is extremely motivating especially if you're on the same page but it can also be used as an excuse and it's extremely hard to get yourself to the gym especially by yourself in the beginning um, but that's where the consistency part comes in. Instead of worrying about motivation to drive you, if you just set a time aside in your schedule and use it as an appointment and not time. even think about it, just go. Once you're right. there, it's easier. And then the more you go by yourself, the easier that becomes. Well, that's what we do. I mean, that's what we tell clients all the time is if you come in Monday, Wednesday at this time and you can go on your own Tuesday, Thursday at the same time, just do that. Like, just make it a habit. Like Monday through Thursday, you're going to the gym at the same time. That way it's consistent, yeah. routine. Or just starting out, if you've never worked out or haven't worked out in a really long time, start with one day, back to the small steps. Like Just start with one day, and then once you get used to that, and that becomes your new normal, then put in two days. And eventually two days will become right. your new normal. And that's how you change your life. You introduce small changes that then become normal, and then you introduce a new change. Yep. If you introduce too many things at once, you're going to become overwhelmed. Yeah, bounce out. Like, no thank you. So inconsistency, obviously there's a difference in between motivation, right? So motivation is really, it's almost like, what, like trying to feel like doing something? Is that kind of how you... Yeah, you're basing your actions on your feelings. Okay. You're waiting to feel the right time to do something. Shelby says, little habits lead to big changes. They absolutely do. And Aunt Karen says, I know you all are right. Thanks. I'm not right. Audra's right. Audra's always right. So. That's when, not true. No, when we I'm argue always, or have a disagreement, when we have a disagreement. I am 99% of the time always right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I hear you. <laughs> no, but really, when we have a disagreement, I feel like you're all right most of the time, which really actually makes me mad. But It's because I don't speak unless I know. If I don't know, I say, hey, you know what, I don't know. Hmm. 
I don't remember that. I remember that this happened. Actually, I'm gonna save this just for next time. So. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. So being consistent. Motivation is trying, trying to, to feel, feel like. like doing something. Um, so the feeling, and then there's a huge one which we're really gonna dive into a lot next week. But it's really what you need. I mean, it's what you need to see results. It's what you need to see the long-term change and effect that fitness can have on your life and it's discipline yep what's the difference between motivation and discipline discipline is doing something even when you don't feel like it no motivation is doing it when you feel like it and discipline is doing it even when you don't feel like it right so that's why i mean there's so many things that come into discipline i mean we can't even get into all of them today but next week we're, we're going to break it down. Break down discipline and we're going to talk tips. about how you can create discipline in your life, which will then lead to better results in your health. Do we get a question this week? No. I never got a question. Does anybody have a question? Questions. Anybody have questions before we wrap this up tonight? Hey, Sharon. Miss Sharon. We miss you, Sharon. And I miss you too, Shelby. I saw your comment. I do miss you. I didn't see it. I missed it. I said I miss you, Molly, and Shelby said you don't miss me, Audra. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see that. So this week we did not get any questions submitted. So if you have any questions for us before we wrap up today, we'd be more than happy to answer one. Uh, otherwise, we will get it wrapped up, and then we will come back next week to talk about discipline. This week, motivation and why it doesn't why it doesn't help, and what you really need. What you really need is discipline but we're going to really talk about discipline and break it down next week is it granted or granite i can't remember <laughs> hey sam um don't take me for gr- for granite i'm just kidding i used to say so i used to say don't take me for granted don't take me for granted like a countertop and one day I my sister taken, i didn't want to be taken as a countertop no, you were saying that to me. You were oh, saying, yeah, yeah. I don't want to take you for me, uh, granite. Right, right, right. And my <laughs> sister was standing there and she said, yeah, Audra, he doesn't want to take you for granite because you're not a countertop. <laughs> and he didn't understand that it's not granite. It's, it's granted. Granted. I know that now. Yeah. Thanks, Nikki. See? Hey, Teresa. Hey, Sam. So, wrapping up today, motivation is no good. It sucks. It's... It's just so inconsistent. Uh, what you need is discipline. And we're going to talk about discipline next week and break that down. And it's granted, not granted. Exactly. <laughs> Grammar lesson. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thanks for joining us. Have, Have a, a great night. week.